First, the storm takes a devastating toll on Ben Carson and his campaign staff because one of the volunteers in this van does not survive. Carson arrived in Omaha just hours ago, meeting with Braden Joplin's family and tweeting this picture in memory of Joplin. A 25-year-old volunteer died just west of Atlantic, Iowa today after the campaign van slid on an icy Interstate 80. KTV News Watch 7's Dave Roberts live with new details at the Nebraska Medical Center. Dr. Ben Carson made it a point today to show support for the mourning family of a person on his campaign that showed him so much support over the years. He arrived in Omaha this evening after suspending his campaign today. 25-year-old Braden Joplin died after he was injured in this van crash. It happened on I-80, six miles west of Atlantic, Iowa. The state patrol says there was a van on an SUV that collided during a very icy conditions. Paramedics found Joplin unconscious when they arrived. He died at Nebraska Medicine this afternoon. Dr. Carson says that he knew Joplin personally. He chartered a flight for his family from Texas to come here to Omaha to help grieve this evening. Also, he also met with loved ones this evening once he arrived, and then he met with us to share his personal feelings about Braden Joplin. And the thing that impressed me the most was how compassionate he was, how caring he was about the feelings of other people. And you know, I, I just hope that maybe his death might help some people to think about the hard-heartedness that has infested our land. Where people are just mean. And they just say things to try to hurt people. And they don't care about anybody but themselves. And he was just the opposite of that. The campaign's senior communications strategist Jason Osborne told the media that Joplin couldn't sleep the other night. He stayed awake and wrote a paper on why Dr. Carson should be president. He said he was, quote, a good kid. Now, we also spoke with relatives of people who were in that pickup truck that were involved in that crash. A mother and three children, two of them her children. All three of those children were transported to Children's Hospital. We're told that two of them had to undergo surgery, but all will survive, including that mother who was at a Cass County Hospital this evening. We're live at Nebraska Medicine. Dave Roberts, KETV, News Watch 7.